Some days are better than others. It's Wednesday and it's a beautiful day outside. Uh, I was thinking this week in my devotion about sharing a little bit about the hard times we have. Monday was a hard day for me. I don't know particularly why, as if we need reasons to say why any of us are having a hard time these days. But Monday, it was just hard to get going. Uh, I enjoyed the, the work I did a little bit, but it was just hard to get at it. Uh, just a hard day. When I have a hard day, uh, I like to read, there's a particular psalm that I have in mind. This is Psalm 42, and the middle of the psalm says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Sometimes I think we don't even know why we're upset. Sometimes I think for me, I don't even notice. I just kind of skate along kind of it, along top of it. I try to work. I try to, uh, you know, interact with my family and take care of business. And it'll take something he's saying to me, why are you so grumpy today? Or what's going on for me to notice that I'm not feeling good? There are times like that that um, I turn to this psalm. And it says, why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? The psalm starts... Uh, verse 1 says, As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs after you. There are several really beautiful musical versions of that, and I, I hear one in particular in my head, but as a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs after you. We need God's presence like we need water. And just like uh, sometimes our bodies can become dehydrated, I think sometimes we just are, are missing our connection with God we're missing any kind of sense of spirit or, or connection to what's most important to us. Uh, we can become dehydrated, we can become apart from God, and we don't even notice it. But we long for God, some part of us. When I'm having a hard time, I notice that this psalm says, Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? But the next line says, Hope in God, for I shall again praise God my hope and my God, my help and my God. So the psalmist says, I will hope in God. It's a command form, right? The first is a question, why are you cast down? The second half is hope in God. The psalmist recognizes that even if we're not praising God at the moment, we can still hope and look forward to a time when we'll praise God. We can hold on to the possibility that, that we'll have that sense of closeness, that sense of praise, at a future time, we can hope for that. So when we're having a hard time, I want to talk about loneliness. I want to talk about depression. I want to talk about bad days. I want to talk about the things that we're probably all struggling with, perhaps under the surface, and maybe some of us really up close. We all have hard times. We turn to God, and sometimes God feels present. Sometimes God feels far away. Sometimes we can hardly notice. I look at this psalm. The next verse says, Deep calls to deep at the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. And this is poetry, and I'm not sure I can quite express why it speaks to me such, except that deep calls to deep. There's something deep about the human soul and our emotions and our life that calls out, to the deep which is God. Uh, the deep in the Bible is often a, a, a word talked about in terms of the ocean and the depth of the ocean. All your waves and your cataracts. Cataracts is like a long flowing waterfall. If you've ever been close to a waterfall, you see it but you also feel it and there's something inside us maybe that feels deep and something in the waves or the waterfalls or the ocean which feels deep. There's something about God which is bigger than any of us. There's something about the wind uh, around me here that feels bigger than me and perhaps conveys the, the Holy Spirit to me or the presence of God. Something in us that's deep calls out to something in God that is deep. And when we're not right, when our souls are cast down, we cry out and we connect perhaps to God. The next verse says, By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night her song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. So even when we're having a hard time, even when we're up at night or struggling during the day, there's a song of God's love. 
There's a song that God sings throughout our lives. There's a presence of God which doesn't depend on the way we're feeling. And that's our hope, is that when we long for God, when we yearn for God, when we call out for God, God is still there, even in the hard times. We can be cast down. We can uh, feel our soul disquieted within us. And yet God is still faithful. And we know that in another time, we'll come close. We'll be together again. We'll see God. We'll know God in our lives.